Hello. Till now we have loaded data from the files only. But most probably situation we need to deal with the database. So we can load the huge amount of the data. For this we need to add the reference of the system.data.sql client package. And accept it. I have created a folder for this session. Copy the input model and create the execute method in the demo class. Create an instance of the ML context. To load the data from the database, we need to create a database loader. It is just like the text loader that we have used in the session 17. For this, call the create database loader. Here I am going to use the generic method to load the data based on the input model. Let me paste the connection string. Here I have dumped the sum data that we have used in the previous session. I am just loading the years and salary from the table. Note that the sequence of the select statement must match the load column index in the model. Otherwise, it will feed the data in the wrong column. The SQL query to load the data. Now, we need to create a data source. And pass the SQL client factory instance for the factory. Connection string and command. After this, we need to call the load method of the database loader and pass the data source and generate the preview. Add the breakpoint. Update the program.cs file. Save all the files and run the project. Here we got the 24 rows. As I have fed the data of the text file into the database and its value are proper as per the query that we have passed. Let's see what we have learned in this session. To load the data from the database, we need to create an instance of database loader. Then we have to specify the connection string and command. Based on that, generate the data source and, and pass it into the load method of the database loader. Stay tuned for the next session.